Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Some Unknown Space Metaverse. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? I'm very good, man. How about you? I'm doing great. So, so many things coming up together finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can uh, say that again. Yeah, it was like a little bit crazy. Well, it, it still is, but uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, just I uh, feel that I'm getting a little bit better grip on right. all yeah. those stuff. Yeah, so. I agree. <laughs> okay, so actually, like quite big thing happened for you. Uh, you launched your first uh, generative collection. We already like mentioned it uh, last time, and uh, since yeah. uh, it became like a rocket ship, <laughs> a little bit. It, it went to the moon, and then it decided to try to go back to Earth, but it's just halfway there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's let's see if it changes its mind and uh, goes to the Mars, maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I know that you have some some cool plans with it. So yeah, yeah. but yeah, it was insane. I, I was able to make 100 x on that in uh, like two weeks <laughs> when I bought for the first one and when I uh, sold it. <laughs> That, uh, uh, during the one drop, so well, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know. We're happy about everybody <laughs> that made money because, like, everybody made more than us, like three times more than us. So you guys just banked in, and that's dope. And we're <laughs> super stoked about it that you guys. Some people just made a couple of thousands, and they purchased them for twenty for twenty bucks or something like that. You know, point zero one ETH. Yeah, so that's that's cool. That's cool. Super stoked about that. Yeah, uh, I love your plans uh, that they are here early to stay. It's not just a uh, one-time explosion and nothing. So right. uh, actually, a lot of people love the idea and uh, started even like uh, talking to, to me and probably even to you uh, about right. uh, like uh, they want to make uh, something like that uh, for their art as well. So maybe they have uh, some sort of like characters or or art uh, in different way. Uh, so it's is not like the social avatar, uh, but uh, still uh, th there are different opportunities how to create these like generative uh, collections. And you actually started with the manuals as well. Like you you painted each one uh, yes. yourself, and then you created uh, generative collections based on those those handmade. Exactly. So. I, what I would like to uh, understand uh, how people can create their own collection. What does it take and uh, how would you do that or how did you do that? Okay, so that's uh, the million dollar question this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've done our best to actually uh, answer everybody and help them out. We have a couple of people that were going to be, uh, you know, uh helping out just uh giving them direction how it works and uh, this is what we're gonna i'm gonna be telling uh you about today so i would say like the first thing you want to figure out is you got to create your your concept of whatever it's going to be it doesn't have to be a character we we know you can do anything you can do a pickle and you can do a rug and pull it or or you can just say you're going to do something and not do anything you got those options uh, but if you, you know, <laughs> what do you mean? Do something... <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> you gonna do something and then do it like well, sc scam sort of thing? Or <laughs> I mean, mean? Uh, that's that's what that's what we call rug pulling. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, whoever uh, had this happen to them, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it must be a shitty feeling. So like, don't do that. <laughs> So if you are planning to, you know, get that collection out and, and, and actually, you know, sell it to people and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you want to create your concept. You want to set if it's a character or whatnot. And then you want to start uh, making a list of what's going to be different. What we did is we make categories. We, we decided we're going to do a chest piece, a head piece, uh, an eye piece, and certain parts. Uh, and we decided to go uh, with the bears, for example, add a few different ones, like the shoulder part, where we're going to have a, a pet. And so you can get creative with this. I mean, I've seen that you have that the Legions, for example, they brought something new. They had the, their hands up and they're holding different things, which I thought um, is super dope, super cool. So that's uh, kind of the first step is getting your your base character your base uh, image and then setting up the categories of what you want um, 
to put on top of that as you to get it give it the uniqueness and then you start making a ton of um access access accessories or or assets or whatever there are and so it, it, again it depends on the drop size depends on on the cost as well how much you're going to sell them and there's a lot of variance there but that's kind of the first step that you want to do okay so that helps you to generate the the collection and uh, i guess that or not not even generate it's just a sort of like pool of the possibilities but then you actually generate the collection so right. that's uh that's sort of random that's another process <laughs> yeah right so, so let's, that, let's go I've, into that so yeah after you get your your pieces and you have them in the right format, the right resolution. They all have to, you know, be 100% um, the same size, the same resolution. And things have to be saved in a certain as um, in a certain location. And after that, then you you're gonna need a generic code, a random generator, basically, which is gonna um, grab all these images by name and by, by, by an actual uh, format of name. So we used, uh, what was it? The category first, then we use a subcategory and then we use the name of the actual uh, accessory. So for example, we would have a head and then it's, gonna, it's a hat and then it's uh, the BAP official hat, for example. So right. um, that's how you set up the names and those are gonna become later on your traits. You know, in OpenSea or um, Rarity Tools or one or whatnot. So those are going to become your traits. So the system, you're going to need to get yourself a, a coder <laughs> to <laughs> set this up. And the larger or the more uniqueness you want, you know, the rarity. If it's if you want like very very high rarity, then you need to make a ton of these items, and the code is going to be longer. Basically, you just turn on and off layers you have a background layer then you have a for uh, the you know in, in our case we have the the body layer the fur and then we have other things on top of it like the mouth or the eyes and and the last thing that i we do is the is the hat because some other hats can be helmets and certain things that go and cover the whole face and that is unique to the collection that you're doing basically so after that, you do the, the art, you go into the code, you create this code that just generates it. And it's going to create how, am, how many of them that you decide that you want. We decided to go with the bears for 4,206.9. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> So to 4,206.9, um, I'll just let you have fun trying to figure out why, but <laughs> it, it, it's a, it's a kind of, it's a joke. It's a mean thing Oh really? Uh, that, yeah, we, that we, we, we stumbled upon it and we thought it was kind of funny oh, okay. <laughs> and, it, it, and it's somebody famous that plays with that number as well. It was someone famous. As ah, well, so. okay. well, that's cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Famous in the crypto world. <laughs> yeah, that, that person actually says something stupid and then the crypto world crashes just saying <laughs> ah. <laughs> so um that's the number we picked and so for that i i created i hand painted uh, almost 200 accessories uh and we have about over 10 categories if i'm not mis i don't want to say a specific number because i don't remember it's around 10 12 something like that and so so, so, with the, uh, so yeah. it's uh, it's just uh, images that you paint with like uh, transparent background, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so your you background is together. just yeah. Your your background is like JPEG, and then you use PNGs for the other ones, and then the code is just gonna put them all together and then just merge them into one image. Right. Right. So for that, you don't need like any special like coding uh, or like you need coder, but not like like someone. Yeah. That, I mean, uh, it, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's super basic, simple code, really. Uh, it's not something that I think you can just like wing it and say, oh, I'm just going to write it and see what happens <laughs> that you might need to watch a couple of videos or get somebody that knows. Um, I'm, I, I don't think it'll take you two or three days to figure it out. It's just a simple, 
um, basically you have a list where you, you just tell the system, hey, from all these layers, I want you to pick um, these based on a percentage number. So this yep. is the number. Yep. So 50% are gonna have this, 0.2%, like 20% is gonna have this, 1% is gonna have this thing, this category, for example. And then our code is a little bit more robust because we want it to really generate very, like hard uh, rarity in the bears, for example. The BAPs are a lot simpler, but the bears have a little bit more rarity to them because we added uh, artificial intelligence rarity inside the, tr the, the category itself. So mm. we put rarity on the category. So uh, let's say 45% are going to have hats. But then inside the hats, all the 20, 25, 30 hats that we have in there, they have their own rarity. And this rarity is randomly chosen by the system. We, we, don't, we don't choose it ourselves. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. So, uh, so with the bobs, you actually uh, decided which ones will be rare, all right? Yeah, mo most of it. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, but uh, we, we had more control. It was still random with right. the with the last drop. We had more control. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you just uh, it's a uh, random randomness sort of. Yeah, it's, it's... random randomness exactly. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> so yeah, that that's a uh, the single process of it. It's just generating those. Uh, however, 10, 10, 4,000, 10,000, whatever, how many you want to do. Right, right. Yeah, so, okay, so that's, that sounds, uh, uh, that makes sense. I can imagine someone uh, maybe even writing some macro and uh, running some crazy script <laughs> in Photoshop <laughs> doing that uh, if, if they don't have uh, the money or uh, and, right. uh, and d don't know how to code uh, in uh, some language that would be able to do that. Uh, yeah, so, so that, that's that's understandable. But then, uh, how do you? Uh, oh, the next step then is sort of minting, right? Yeah. No. Well, no, 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 no. Minting okay. is almost the last step. <laughs> okay, I already said that. Actually, yeah. <laughs> minting, minting is the easiest part. Like setting up the the minting. That's that seemed to be like the easiest part. So we we hit all all the possible walls. I think we could have hit really. <laughs> I, I would say we had a wall every 10 minutes of working uh, on, on the APIs and trying to get stuff to work. So basically after that, you have to get your images into a uh, decentralized server or decentralized blockchain, um, well, into the blockchain, into the centralized service like uh, IPFS, which is the most commonly used one. Then depending if you are, uh, if you have a lot of time, or and a very experienced coder, coder, you can generate or create your own gateways. And gateways are basically, uh, I would say simply, it is just like how it's named. It's a bridge between two things. You know, it's how you get from point A to point B. Right. How you get your images from the decentralized um, server, uh, uh, server in IPFS, which is uh, cut into a bunch of pieces like torrent, Bank in the 90s, mm -hmm. it's very similar. It just gets us, uh, you know, spread all over the blockchain. So they, it gathers this this uh, gateway, kind of gathers whatever you're looking for, and and then puts it through the API of whatever uh, uh, or wherever you want to put it to. So okay, um, yeah, getting your images into IPFS, you need uh, either a gateway or you can pay for one. There's the common one is called Pinata. It's mm -hmm. what we ended up using. And it just allows you to create a folder and upload your your images into the IPFS server. And from then, then you have you have your contract, you have your uh, crypto contract or you know uh, Ethereum contract, however it's called. It's it's basically instructions mm -hmm. of how the NFT is going to drive itself. So you can do like almost anything through a contract is super versatile and like there's a lot of things that we have in that we have made in the past and that we're gonna we're gonna translate them and we're translating them translating them uh, currently into nfts because the contract allows us to just create multiple interactions be, between whatever we want digitally. We can do interactions between games. We can do interactions uh, 
you know, between uh, people, metaverses, there's, you know, we can do interaction between stores. You can, it, you can even do interaction between real life things. I, I can see maybe you have an NFT on your watch and then you can scan it on a car and it does plays a, plays a song or something like that. Right, right. So okay. yeah, the contract, that, that's basically the, the, the next step. You just gotta go and create a contract and that you need somebody experienced with because after you deploy a contract, it's forever in the blockchain. There's no way of getting it out. Right. And yeah, I guess like obviously that person costs money, but creating of the contract is... Yes, yes. It's quite expensive, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, can I, 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 I browsed around before I reached out to my friends and I browsed around and they were around 15 to 30,000 euros in fever, which was, you know, cheaper. Oh. <laughs> so it, it, it's, it's rather costly. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it take it takes a minute. To, it, it's so it, the the knowledge is so scarce. Like, there's very little documentation. There's very little education anywhere on how to do this. You have to stumble through it, and when you learn it, it's like you you very little people know how to do this. From what we've gathered, it, it well, we asked hundreds of people, to be honest, like I, I asked so many people about it and nobody knew, like very people knew, the very little people knew and those who knew have already deployed their, their, you know, collections and they kind of don't return your, <laughs> your messages. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, <laughs> they probably... Competition, competition. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So that one and uh, they may be busy lying on the beach and... Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, beautiful sunset here. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. So uh, is there some way around this? Uh, have you have you found something? Because uh, like paying oh, how many is you said like uh, 15, uh, 15 to 30 grand was the quotes that I got. Yeah, and... dollars, right? <laughs> Uh, euros euros yeah well that's basically so there's even more yeah, so. <laughs> yeah a little bit more so um the way around it is getting somebody that knows how to how to do it to be honest that has the experience um in back end developing and front end developing you, you you need somebody that has experience in it or i mean if you have a, a couple of months if you're very dedicated you can learn it yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's not something that you'll learn in a week it's not yeah, like yeah. that. Absolutely. So, yeah, our team has over 30 years combined in oh, experience. Nice. So, yeah, they're, they're very experienced and they've never heard of NFTs before I talked to them. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. But, the <laughs> but they know the systems, you know, because the, 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 the scripts and the codes are the same thing. They just need to learn what, what will, I mean, what kind of topic are they going to talk to the computer about, basically? Oh, so they are like, uh... But then I like, assume that they uh, are knowledgeable in like crypto area. So they are coding something on blockchain, but just not <laughs> NFTs, but uh, not so even blockchain. One of them. One of them was uh, had a little experience, very little experience in blockchain when, when we talked about it at first. Uh, the other one had zero experience in it. But like I said, um, it, it's just they had to find out which are the commands that they have to uh, deploy and uh, how is right. the workflow and whatnot. They already know how to how to connect things, how to make things work through the code because they they it's a, it's like speaking English or Spanish or something. It's like la a language to them, so they know the language. They right. just needed to learn what was it that they had to tell the computer to do. Yeah, and absolutely. now 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 they're kind of experts. I mean, <laughs> now they're 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 doing crazy stuff. They they're working on staking. They're working on burning things. They're making on um bridging contracts between other contracts and communicating oh. between multiple contracts to do multiple things between collections. And you <laughs> impressive. know, impressive, impressive. Yeah, they're 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 going for taking a flight on it. So NFTs, are, we're gonna see a lot of cool things in NFTs soon. Oh yeah, so. You know, have a team that is capable of doing all these crazy stuff. So that's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, without it, it's not possible. I mean, it wasn't going to be possible for for me. I'm not a good coder. I tried multiple times. I I, I like I know a, a little bit of um, C sharp and a very tiny bit of C plus plus and whatnot. But I like 
mm, I can't do that. But yeah, if you find yourself a coder or a friend, or you can even try to collaborate with uh, somebody that had already done it, then you can get yourself out there. So after you make your contract, uh, you deploy it, you have to pay gas for deploying it. You have to pay, you have, oh, before you deploy it, you go into uh, some kind of test net. Uh, in Ethereum, they use rank buy. Mm -hmm. so you go into rank buy uh, test net and you, you test your, your contract. You make sure like when you call a function, it works. Uh, when you tell it to do something, it does that. We had a lot of <laughs> setbacks there. Like we would get the wrong um, traits. We would get um. delayed traits. Like it would grab the traits from the image behind it. Uh, we got a, a lot of crazy stuff. We would get like a new collection on top of the collection that was already there, but with an image that had no image. But then there was a <laughs> duplicate image with an image in it, but it was the wrong image. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we don't understand either. We just got <laughs> a bunch of bugs. And it, it, in, uh, um, so what I'm trying to say is like you're going to get a, bu a bunch of bugs and it, it's going to happen. And then after you battle through them, then, then you end up deploying to uh, the mainnet and that's how you get your system up. After that, you need a website or if, if you didn't go directly into OpenSea API, but we decided to go outside OpenSea and just use their API to connect our, our collections through it and deploy it with their market system. Why did you do so that? Why? Yeah. It was simpler. <laughs> okay. <Right. laughs> it was simpler and, and, and OpenSea has very little documentation on anything and their Git are outdated. Like if you get your, their Git, like their sample uh, code, it doesn't work. Like you, oh. you try to deploy it and it, it fails. It doesn't work. So there's little, <laughs> yeah, there's little info and there's, I mean, there's a lot of room for mistakes. And yeah. there, it, we're, we're, we're dealing with people's money. So it's something that we really had to make sure that it worked a hundred percent. So we tested it with our own money, of course. Right. And. Yeah, so basically what you did, uh, just so people to understand that uh, yeah. you created a website and uh, when I wanted uh, to buy uh, one of those during the drop that I uh, went to the website and uh, I connected my MetaMask and I uh, entered the number of uh, uh, the token that I want uh, minted and right. uh, th then I got them, I paid and got them to my MetaMask and right. they, they appeared in the, the collection on OpenSea. Yes, sir. Exactly. That's literally the process. They just pop up there. Yeah. So that's the that's the easiest way how to do it. For, yeah. For yeah. People I wondering. mean, yeah, uh, that's the way we found. To, uh, right. We we've heard of others that, that use other systems and they go other ways. For example, uh, I don't remember the name exactly. I think it's the Crazy Bananas or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can. Boring Bananas uh, Company or Corporation. Banana. So uh, V, I think, is one of the creators, uh, VEE -E on Twitter. And he has, he's been sharing the information. So I suggest you guys go follow him. He's been sharing the information. He does lives uh, on the Boring Bananas Discord. And, you know, he kind of shares the, how he has been doing it. And he does it in another, in, in another way. Uh, from us, but that just tells us that there's multiple ways. You just got to figure out what's the, the best one that works for you and um, whatever you want to do with that contract. If you want to, uh, if you're actually going to put a utility into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, how many, like, how much money uh, does it cost to deploy the contract, actually? So when you write it mm -hmm. to deploy it? it? Yeah, it costs gas money. So, um, our first contract cost us about 0.2 Ethereum, I think. Mm -hmm. It was over 100, 150 bucks right, at right. that moment. And yeah. the second one was under 100, but it was because ca gas went down. So it, it depends on, on gas at the moment. Yeah, yeah, and you needed both of them. <clears throat> sorry, uh, both of them for the BUP collection, or was it for the BUP and BAPs? No, uh, so the, we got two collect. So the BAPs, 
um, have their own contract, and then the Bears have their own contract. Right, right. Yeah, so it's not because they're, they're different utilities as well. We're doing different things with them. Right, right. Yeah, so it's it's not it's not so bad. Yeah, it's not cheap, but yeah, it's not so bad yeah, for for creating yeah. something like that. Right. It's not. It's not. You know, it won't break your your budget. But you need a budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's not oh. gonna be just free. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, and and it depends also if you're gonna do like airdrops to people and c- certain things like that. That it just gets expensive like crazy. Because one of the things that, that we tr- we went over when we deployed the Babs is what okay, so we got the bears. Maybe we can give one to each Bab owner, and we went and and tested it, and we checked out that on testnet, and and we tried to deploy. Uh, we, we calculated, we say, okay, so we're going to have maybe in the first week, uh, maybe uh, 30, 40 owners, but let's just imagine that we sell out and we have our, our, over two, 300 owners. Let's see how much this is going to go for. And we tested it and it was over $20,000 in gas. Wow. <laughs> so we, we decided, of course, that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't something that we could do at the moment because you needed liquidity to do that. And that's why uh, the apes, they did the, the dog airdrop to everybody, but they, they went over a couple of thousand Ethereums already. It was two months after they sold out. Yeah. After you have liquidity, then, I mean, $30,000 is okay because it's fine. You, you might just get some of it back with the secondary sales and was, that sort of stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. It costs money <laughs> to do cool things. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, for sure, for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's the process. So you need uh, you need some coding knowledge, and uh, you need to learn uh, something uh, specific, and uh, you need to, to pay some money in the process uh, to create some uh, creatives uh, to to uh, be able to put it together. But uh, like when we talk about it step by step, it's actually not so complicated. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 I, I, I say it's simple. But it's just, I mean, I, I say it's easy, but it's not simple. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you just have to put on it, and and I mean, ask for help. There's a lot of good people in the NFT space that they are super happy to just point you in the right direction. Right. So maybe at the end, uh, what uh, like from your perspective, of course, like your yeah. group was uh, very successful, uh, but uh, still, like when you start. Uh, was thinking about doing it or and planning everything you didn't know how it's going to uh, happen uh, or if you know how many <laughs> are you going to sell so uh, can you give us a little bit insight into how you uh, thought about it because yeah it was uh, a lot of work uh, learning a lot of new things investing a lot of money uh, so it was a lot of risk so how do you thought about it uh, like um, to make it um, like that it makes sense to go through all that process because like right now with uh, like people that uh, listen to this know the process at least uh, like high level but right. you actually didn't know even this right you need to yeah. even phone the process and everything so i would i mean i might not be the best person to <laughs> to use as a reference but but i i'm I, like i have always been a risk taker i'm actually a, a nomad I travel, um, I, I don't, you know, I, I've been traveling for more than a year now and we've, I'm kind of that person. Like if I want to do something and I feel like um, it's going to be a great experience for my life, I would just go and dive into it. And I, I, I don't think a lot about it, but in, in the NFT thing, I honestly thought it was going to take me more than a year to break something like that. In my head, I was so I needed to create, you know, to meet people, do some networking, and, and understand how NFTs work. And when we did, when I did the collection, and we deployed it, my, my train of thought was, I'm just gonna do this because I can at the moment. I I, I have the, the the knowledge and and I I can put in the work. Like we slept for um, like two hours every day for like seven days or something like that. We barely slept for seven days. That's why one of, one of our, uh, our guys just we said, you got to go take a two day vacation, dude, because you work like 36 <laughs> hours straight. You need to go home to take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's coming back today. He's well rested <laughs> for the drop tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> but oh, cool. yeah, you got it. So um, it was a bet. It was a bet. It was a huge, huge, humongous bet. I, I, I told them that I believed it firmly that we could actually make this happen. They believed me. And um, we just went into it blindly, to be honest. Um, but I, 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 it, that, that was the feeling. The feeling was, you know what, I, I'm not going to fail just because I believe I'm not going to fail. But to be honest, in the back of my head, it was like, you are kind of stupid at the moment. You're just <laughs> wasting your time and no one in them. Because, you know, most collections do not sell, like most of them. There's yep. hundreds that I see every day that don't sell. Apparently, now I'm getting like a, too many DMs about people asking me to help them promote their, their collection. And I oh, understand yeah. <laughs> the feeling. Yeah, I get the feeling because it's, it's, not, it's not the trend. So that was the feeling. I mean, I'm just going to do it because I think I can. But will I make it? I sincerely hope so. But I really, 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 really doubt it. That's kind of the, <laughs> the summary. <of> it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, no, so, so sort of positive thinking but yeah. more, more yeah. doubt than the hope <laughs> yeah well, i mean that that that's why some of the things that the, that you know it sold out so fast we got the discord all blown up i'm getting a, a bunch of people talking to me to us and all that sort of stuff and then um we were caught off guard to be honest i think most of the people that sell out they uh, they believe they're gonna sell out but they don't they doubt it as well so it, it's that transition between the chalk of just seeing people actually believe in your work and, and wanting to pay money to it for it and and going from that transition into it so it takes a little bit it's like having jet lag from a long flight yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that's good. well uh, it's still impressive to know that uh, you are actually uh, still like planning ahead and thinking about next steps, not just uh, doing the firefighting, which uh, there's, there's oh, yeah, there dude, must be a lot of that. We're bringing NFTs to the world, bro. We're going to bring <laughs> NFTs to the real world. I want to show the real world that NFTs are not just overpriced PNGs on a, on a screen. We're going to get these communities and we're going to build freaking vertical farms in Africa and do like fucking wells in Haiti and <laughs> shit like that. I want I, I want to go first. Uh, than the Red Cross when there's a hurricane somewhere. We want we want to bring communities and do big things in the real life. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah, I love to hear that. <laughs> too much money in NFTs to be spent inside just the crypto world. We we gotta help people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, like on these Twitter spaces that we are doing um, uh, every day, yeah. there are actually like some people. Like uh, today, there was uh, one uh, lady for, from a foundation. Uh, it's uh, helping uh, then for one guy that's uh, like his job is to plant trees and he was like okay like, there are these like nfts so maybe i can uh, use that to be able to plant more trees <laughs> and right, right. yes the trees nft project uh, to actually plant the the, the, the trees nice. and, and th yeah so th yeah, i'm really looking forward to that part of the future that it will yeah. not just be the images and art but uh or just totally. yeah it's 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 cool uh, at it its own but uh, uh, there are much more potential there oh so much we don't we don't know the limits currently so yeah absolutely yeah absolutely. we don't know it's it's a very exciting time and uh i mean i, I would say like uh, probably we were a little bit over the time but last thing i kind of would say is like I, I would like to ask people that are watching and if and if you can tell others like we need to band together into this um i've seen a lot of competition and and competition is healthy when it's and you know in good heart but there's uh there's a few that are just trying to pull rugs and, and flip for just making a few bucks at the expense of other people and that's not what we should be doing that that that's going to harm the nft space in the long run and we're going to we could break something that it, it could just make everybody's lives for the better so i would just you know, kind of i would say like a kind of a call to try to be more uh, of a team player we we don't have to compete between uh between nfts or collections we don't have to compete we can collaborate and and build up all the collections at the same time there's enough people in the world 
Yeah, there's absolutely a lot of people in the world, and uh, the, the NFT community is so small at this moment. So yeah, it's, it's just, under one percent. Yeah, it's just there's so much space to grow the pie. Uh, it's so just uh, like you you don't need to uh, fight for this very small pie that yeah. we have right now. Just uh, no FOMO, no FOMO. <laughs> just, just bring people of, uh, from outside. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, yeah. they don't know what's uh, what's going on and. Uh, like so many people just uh, learned about this space, just gets their head blown and yeah, uh, yeah it just uh, increases the size of the pie. Yeah, I mean, and a lot of people get a bad taste because they buy from fakes, they buy from collections that get pulled and then they get a bad taste and then they, they just go away and, 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 and curse at the NFT space and say it's just uh, a, you know, a fake currency designed to steal money from people. And you get a, a lot of bad media and that's people that don't understand what NFTs are and, and it be, because they had a bad experience and they just go out there and start spouting lies or things that could harm our space. And this, I, I, I'm going to fight against this kind of thing just because I think NFTs are going to give a lot of people jobs that we lost last year. NFTs are saving a lot of families that lost their jobs during the pandemic, for example. There's a lot of uh, kids are having food today that didn't have food six months ago. So this is a good thing that's happening and people need to stop fighting between each other and trying to collaborate between each other. So enough, enough from me <laughs> <laughs> lecturing people, my bad. <laughs> no, no, well, I think it's a great message at the end. Uh, so great. thank you very much. Uh, I think it was yeah, man, uh, uh, really cool information because there's, as you said, there's uh, not uh, not much of this type of information out there because yeah. it's it's quite specific and most of the people that know it actually uh, don't want to share <laughs> because yeah. it's well, we're, we're gonna help. We're gonna help share it. like uh, the V uh, this V guy. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna start helping people get it out there and helping them. Make awesome. it. That's part of what's being in, uh, in our collections as part of our membership is that uh, we're part of, part of us is just giving taking from the funds that we have investing back into community projects that eventually are going to turn into humanitarian projects so if you have a collection you want to join the community or you want you have an idea we're going to have an, an for you that give we're going to have resources to give you so you can make that idea happen it's amazing it's amazing i'm looking forward to first first project yeah. to be funded i love my bat fam Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a chill hashtag, right? <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, that, that, that was some uh, one of the members that used the hashtag, and I was like, yeah, I, I want to use that. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool one. Okay, yeah. awesome. So right. thank you very much. And uh, so everyone that's watching, if you liked it, uh, we are doing these every week at the same time. Also, you can watch them uh, in recording on Twitch. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to... Have Upload it uh, to YouTube where you can uh, yeah. listen to all the previous episodes and much more. <laughs> so, yeah. see you next time. All right, uh, guys, uh, tomorrow 16th, we're going to have Bear Drop. He's going to drop that there. See you guys next week. It's going to be huge. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.